what is going on y'all and welcome back to the channel i am your host unknown factions and thank you for joining me for some more Valheim. now today as you can see we are taking a tour of the community server this is recorded on day two of the dedicated server being live and as you can see we have made hella headway already we have the forge room the storage room and now the cooking cottage now all this building will be done vanilla no dev command so there's lots of wood breaks Lots of running and gathering mats, but that is the glorious grindiness of Valheim. Now, this is a small beginner build, not as complex and advanced as a lot of my buildings, but nonetheless, very useful, very easy to recreate, and it can handle all of your cooking and mead needs, obviously. Now, without further ado, let's jump right into it. And as you can see, we're just going to start off with a simple wood platform built straight down to the ground. The ground has all been nice and leveled. Now I am doing a 5x7 platform, and then we are just going to run around, and we are just going to tack up the corners real fast. Now, you know, it is unnecessary to put the pillars down around your corners as you begin. You could do this later on, but it is easier when it gets to being higher because you're going to have to add these beams for support to touch the ground level. But as you can see, we got our doorway, and now let's just go ahead and frame in some walls real fast with some windows, trying to keep things as similar as possible. You know, you want to have reflecting windows on either side that are in the same place. I mean, sometimes you could vary, but we're trying to make this look as realistic as possible. I mean, you can build houses that look completely unrealistic. So of course, as you can see, we're going to build porches on the front. You know, maybe a, a possible another window right here, about the same distance as that other window. Boom. And these one by one flat boards come in handy in the corners for space and allows you to change up how far away you want your windows from the corners of the house. Looking good, looking good. Let's go ahead and just make this too thick. Possibly wrap it around. I think we will. Let's just go ahead and work on this window. This would be a nice window nice large window to have right here that way you can see the meadows coming down the hill giving your viking a nice little looky loo every now and again let's finish framing these in and running down this side now shout out to apoc and Norwell who have been feeding me materials the whole time i have been building in town could have done it without you guys Boom, and there we go. Just like that. And probably at least try to keep some solid walls. I mean, you don't want to completely destroy your comfort rating when you're in here. I'd like to be able to rest while I cook as well. And when we get into some tar, of course, I will completely deck out the interior of this building. We're just not far enough. We're just not far along enough that way that I could completely decorate this interior. We are just past the elder i think as we're recording this we hadn't even killed the elder yet this is only the second day but now we are stacking up for bone mass if you guys want to join the link to the guild is down below feel free to join in and join us to feel free to come on in and join us but now as you can see we are going up to the second floor getting some stairs built this will probably be how i do my stairs this might be too close to the wall i might have to knock that off and push this over one thinking about the roof slips but for now this works good and this is how I like to do my inside stairwells I mean like a realistic stairwell you go up a couple flights one direction platform a couple flights the other direction and then you can box this in beautifully with you know 26 degree boards and whatnot but once you're up there we're gonna go and throw an inverted corner down right here on this side and you know, just follow this over giving us two different peaks in the front with one peak in the back which we might bleed it through depending on how tall that front peak is because the 45 degrees tend to go up a lot higher than the 26 so whenever you start with that 26 and you like this right here this peak right here will probably be higher than the other peak and there's not too much you can do about that besides just push it through to the back side boom and as you can see ran out of wood again but we're back and finishing this off right here with another inverted corner 
bada boom, and then come to the back side and just chase this over like so. Looking good, mate. I'm liking it. Boom. And of course, working with odd numbers like always just allows the roof to finish off ever so nicely. And chase this back up. And as you can see, we're going with the 26s off the bottom, moving into the 45s. And like I said, stairwell a little close right there. We'll have to push that over. But using the 26 at the bottom, going up to the 45 gives it that nice tapered off and it's not so just straight up and down. Um, some more corners over here. Yeah, and it looks like that peaks a little higher than the other one, so we will probably have to chase that through to the back side a little bit and then box it off over there, which is okay. Another peak's never bad. It just adds to the, the feng shui of the roof, if you know what I mean. All right. Get your ass up there. Get up there! There you go. All right, boom. As you see, they're turning red. Probably gonna need a little support up here. This is like pushing it. We are at almost the exact height where we could go. If we went one more higher, everything would start breaking. So know your limits, folks, because we do not have iron yet. So the only support we got is wood into the ground, which, I mean, you can still build beautiful structures right from the beginning so there's no limits to what you can make things look like I mean you don't have to have iron and tar to build beautiful structures in Valheim let us not get it twisted folks because you can see this building is coming together quite nicely Boom. and there's another trick right there for you folks if you can't see I'm using shift click to snap into the bottom sides of these roof tiles that way you don't have the board sticking through the top and you can avoid this in all situations, but most of the time, as you can see, it can be avoided. And it just looks a lot better. But, moving on to the right side of the house, we're going to extend these off. That way our eaves are just overhanging a tad bit. Not completely necessary, but it does add to a little bit of depth to your structures. I mean, and there's multiple ways we do add depth to give it an all-around all realistic feel to it because you know when everything is just kind of compact and stuck together it looks very very generated and that's not the feel we're going for we're going for uniqueness not prefab i try to build every building a little bit different nothing done twice here folks and box in our window next we'll be on to capping up the front and adding in a little porch overhang over here boom yeah, this is just sticking off a little too far for my liking. There we go. Got to make room for the porch over there. So as you can see, I shaved off one tile's worth of the entire building over there. And now when I go back to do the roof, I'll do the wraparound porch right there, and it'll it'll fit nicely. Otherwise, it would have been a little long off there to the right. Boom, there we have it. Let's give ourselves a little snap point up there. So when we go up and put our full boards, we can snap this thing halfway just like that. Boom, now we have our inner peak for the roof, for the entryway, and then we will do our our front porch right off of this, this peak right here. Boom, going around. You can make it work, there we go. Looks good, blends very nicely. And just kind of follow this all the way around with the 26 degree roof tiles, just to kind of build in your front porch. Boom. And we'll have to probably push these up one more into the roof, like go off one more to the right, like this. Boom. And you see, that looks good. Not bad. You can easily cover up the rest of that with the roof tiles. Clips through the edge a little bit, but nothing too noticeable. That is nice about the, like the thatch roof. The thatch roof kind of clips. It clips nicer than the tar tiles. In my opinion, it does, of course. And if you're using shift click again right here, spacing it out. As you can see, we place one with the snap point, just that way we know where the board needs to be placed. If you kind of freehand that, you're going to have a rough time with it. Boom. As you see, it lines up beautifully. Oh, sexy. That's what I'm talking about. Die, motherfucker. All right. Um, ain't much left. We're just going to have to go through and finish our front porch. We'll add a little bit of depth to this peak right here with the one by one meter tiles. Uh, maybe not those. Yeah, we'll go like that. I like to do the 26 degrees up there when the peak's a little bigger. But since that peak's not that big, we're just gonna 
go with the little tri beam right there, and that just adds a little bit of a little bit of flair to the peak right there. It's not as just closed. As every little thing you do will add up in the end when you're looking at your building. So the more little things you can do, don't skip them. Do them because at the end you'll look back and your building will have so many different accents and depth features. But as you can see. I went for a smoke break and forgot to hit record again and went on and just finished beautifying this building. Now, as you can see, we added the back door and the stairs and the little roof here. I have came inside and I have finished off the second story, moved over the stairs a little bit. I added the kegs in. And then I have also came and finish the cooking stations and then of course the like refrigerator style pantry which this is all pretty basic stuff right here folks all I did was raise the ground one tack to put the meat hanging stations and then I knocked the floor out and threw two fires in and of course just vented the smoke right out the roof it just goes up one and out one I mean nothing to it but as you can see don't be limited by your day I mean day one and two you can still build so you can still build beautiful useful buildings you, even though you can't build with iron, you don't have to go tall and wide, but you can still make extremely efficient buildings. I hope you guys got something from the video. If you did, don't forget to hit that like button for me and subscribe, of course, because I am always cranking out Valheim content. And with all that said, thanks for stopping by, folks, and I will catch you in the next one.